All right, everybody. So I ran into this guy just randomly walking down the street. Yep. This is pretty cool because uh, it's the first time we've ever done a video mm -hmm. in person. Oh, yeah. Which is just wild. We were talking about this earlier. We did hours upon hours upon hours of StreamYard and Zoom and whatever else. But now we are, we are here live in person. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we got this camera. That camera. This camera. That camera. This camera. Mm -hmm. That camera. It's a little windy, mm -hmm. but uh, we're making it work. We've kind of uh, jerry-rigged our little uh, mobile studio here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got a, a baseball game going on right across the street, so... It's a nice little location. A little it's windy, really nice. A little windy, but I think uh, I think this mic that we're using here is going to be uh, just fine for oh, that. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, man, Josh, dude, it's uh, it's been a little while since I've seen you. Yep. And um, one of the things we used to talk about all the time, all the time, was the movie trivia showdown, mm -hmm. and that was kind of our thing, right? Mm -hmm. And we were both uh, part. Well, you're still part of them. I, I formally, for me. Uh, part of the Let's Get Ready Network, and we were we were very much uh, involved, sort of, with a lot of the talent and the people involved with the show, like putting on the show and stuff, and kind of we were almost like the the media, the Schmodown media, to a certain level, in, in right? a sense. Uh, yeah, you know, you know LGR. Uh, always, I can't say not enough nice things about them. By the way, check out the Nostalgia Crackdown if uh, if you want to hear some more Schmodown content in the non Schmodown area right now. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it just it got me thinking because uh, we we haven't done a video in, in a little bit. I've been I've left Let's Get Ready Network now for a few months, um, but uh, people watching this on my channel may not know that much of like what what the hell is the Schmodown? What are they talking about here? So a brief overview. It's basically like movie trivia meets professional wrestling. So the matches aren't two people getting in a ring and squaring off and doing moves and stuff, but it's it's actually answering movie trivia questions but very much like wrestling there's like gimmicks involved and people play put like would play characters and things like that it was it's a very cool fun like little niche thing but it got to the point where they had like guys like kevin smith and chris jericho and you know uh the the lady from glow i always forget her name you know what i'm talking about oh yeah yeah, yeah. Brittany yeah. young Brittany young yes she was on there but a few other people they had like the stranger kid stranger things kids on there i think at yeah. one point it was a celebrity um, match yeah which by the way i saw uh gaten uh, I, yeah. I can't pronounce his last name, but the kid, Stranger Things, yeah. sings the uh, Never Ending Story. Sure. I just saw him walking down the street. Oh, nice. He was in the city, but anyway, but back, back to kind of what we were talking about here. So, movie trivia showdown. We've been we've been sort of it's been uh, just about a year mm -hmm. since there's been no showdown. Oh yeah. It it, uh, it ended unfortunately a bit uh, abruptly, and uh, we won't go get into the details of sort of why. It's a, a different show for another time, but. I think at the end of the day, it was something that you and I both really enjoyed watching. It was very entertaining. Um, many, many hours spent listening, watching, talking about the yeah. showdown. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting as a retrospect, like one year later, mm -hmm. to pose this question. And neither of us know, as we're recording this, sort of what our stance is yeah. on this particular uh, sort of prompt that I'm going to give. But it's one that I'm very curious about. It's one that I'm very curious to see what your opinion is and see if it's any different than mine but the question on the table today is not will because we can't really predict the future uh, it's a crazy world we live in but should should the schmodown ever make a return and i have a pretty strong opinion on this so um i guess maybe i'll i'll give my pitch first here and uh, we're, we're not going to try to go too long on this, maybe like 20 minutes or so tops. But um, but you never know with us. Like we've, we've, we've said that before, and then we're here for an hour. But I know, uh, Josh has got to be some no, no, a certain no, time. No, 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 good. <laughs> so my opinion is that I concretely would say that I do not think that the Schmodown should ever make a return. And there are several reasons why. I think the first and foremost... Christian Harloff is a great guy. Um, a lot of respect to that guy. Um, he seems like he's doing pretty damn well without the Schmodown. And I think that his life was just completely absorbed by that when it was going on, you know? And, and, and almost to the point where I think he was having trouble spending time with his family and, like, you know, and then we had 
COVID and everything, and that's that's really what it comes down to. People wondering why the Shmoda ended it is basically COVID like killed it because they had their whole business model was about doing live events at that point, and then suddenly now there's no live events, right? But I just think that there that Christian number one, that he's the guy behind the scenes. He's the Vince McMahon of of the Schmodown. I think he's a lot happier now without it. Um, and you know, it's it's not something that I would like definitively say. Oh no, never bring it back. Because like I think there's always room for like maybe a one off. You know, like maybe a year two years down the road hey let's do a spectacular let's bring the spectacular back and just have it be a one night only type of thing and you have have some dream matches like rachel cushing versus kevin smats or whatever it is you know dan merle obviously um but like at the end of the day i think that that kind of chapter has closed for a lot of people and it was really struggling to sort of stay on its feet during COVID to the point where I think at the end there, nobody was really watching it anymore. And like you had your hardcores that were, and I loved what Christian was trying to do with the whole like Friday night Titans uh, sort of thing. But it just seemed like the novelty had kind of worn off the niche of it all wasn't even there anymore. And it sort of like, it, it didn't certainly didn't feel the same and it didn't have that magic that it used to. And I think that it, a lot of people have sort of moved on with their lives and kind of like, and the Schmodown community is still great. Like I, I love and have met so many amazing friends through that community um, that I now consider lifelong friends. And I've said this before on, on other shows, but um, you know, and I love being in, in connection with some of those people still, but it just feels like, again, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's something that a lot of people would want to revisit. So that's sort of my uh, thoughts initially on that. But I, what do you think? Because uh, I'm uh, very curious. So it's interesting because we didn't talk about this beforehand, but I'm on the opposite side, if you okay, will. Okay, yeah. Um, I, not because I'm like, oh, we definitely need the show down back. We, I'm, it, it needs to come back. It's more of like I can't say it shouldn't come back because, in my opinion, like if it comes back, it doesn't harm anyone. In like, uh, I think uh, I can't speak on. I don't know Christian or any of uh, personal life stuff or anything like that. Whether he is able to or not, or anything like that. But right, like, there's some legal things probably involved with absolutely the trademarks turning over. Uh, and I, I, I'm, considering we had, had a company that owned it. I'm going it. purely Sorry, on know. the product because I don't know anyone. I don't, I don't know anyone within Schmodown that well. I don't know what their personal lives, what the Schmodown bringing back would mean for them. But just as a product, I mean, it, I don't think it hurts anyone if it does come back. I think it was something where people could come together, and it, it was even more for the competitors than it is for the fans, to have the competitors back in a place where they can hang out and be able to play some movie trivia and just explore, kind of go through that passion, because that's what we all fell in love with was the passion. And, well, there were some people who didn't love the digital era. I love the digital era. I love a lot of the moments I did within. Too. Yeah, I, there's some good stuff in there. I, I and I think Friday Night Titans. Um, there's a lot of mixed feelings about it, but it was a big yeah. swing. And like, there's part of me that's like, listen, if um, the circumstances were aligned, and um, Christian wanted to bring it back, or just like, hey, we want to just do some matches and just slowly bring it back together, or whatever they wanted it to do, I would be in support of it. Because kind of what I, I was saying, like spectacular, bring it back for one night only and see what happens, now, see where I, it goes from there. You know? I, I, I actually would rather have it for a season than I would for a spectacular. Really? What, okay. What I, what, what I think was so great about the is the storylines, it's the build up, it's to be able to like the competitiveness of yeah. like, hey, you're working your way to a title. I'll be honest, I hated the last episode of the Schmodown Spectacular because it was a lot of like, okay, we're just having dream matches that have no... That, that we're throwing away all the canon from the like, what we built up to, you know. Exactly. And, and, and that's, it's such a shame, too, because like you could tell Christian had some really cool ideas absolutely. of where it was all going to culminate at yes. Spectacular and at even, the end. I'll like, even throw man. this out. If you yeah. wanted to start completely interesting with the Schmodown, keep the Schmodown format, but see if there's an audience for the sport, sports Schmodown, where it's all about sports trivia. Or I think there's new yeah. aspects, and I always think there's new fans that can get into it. And, like, just because something new comes out doesn't mean our memories are tarnished of the past. It doesn't mean sure. that, like, yeah. uh, we'll always have the old down and we'll always have those moments. And, like, yeah. um, I think it always depends. I don't think there's any major harm that can come of it. So I'm like, eh, if you want to, sure. But uh, doesn't, I, it doesn't guarantee. Well, I would say 
to sort of counterpoint that, that the potentially the major harm that could come of all this would be losing a lot of money. I mean, if you think of like it realistically, the logistics of it, uh, there was a lot of money at one point at least being pumped into that thing. And I don't think they were really getting much return for that, you know, and, and at the end of the day, it's kind of as much as we, we are passionate as fans and we love the show and everything, uh, everything's a product, you know, you got, you got to sell and you got to make money. And I feel like, really what sort of hurt them again was not being able to do those live events going yeah. into the pandemic but i also feel like the only way for them to really take off mm -hmm. and i mean maybe if they ever come back you keep this in mind too but getting a tv deal which is like really hard to do because again that involves a lot of money and pitching to network executives I, 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 and and things like that but the way it was looking i mean he was and there was like Sports Illustrated oh, yeah. or something, or ESPN was going to come yeah. and write, do a write up of the live event. It's like, I feel like they were almost headed towards that. Like, can you imagine watching the Schmodown on ESPN? I, can, you know? like, I completely get the money point. I, I yeah. can't speak on it because, again, I don't know the financials involved. I don't know the people and how it would work. But, like, if they wanted to start small, let's say, have a small investment, like, just, you know, make it very low low budget low school and you just have the matches just film and, in christian's garage you know like, film where he it. does this other other shows yeah you, did something, <laughs> you know you start small and you build your way up i have yeah. no problem with that if you try and build a new audience and then you work your way and start from square one um i think you obviously be uh, if they're bringing it back try and be as financially sensible as possible right don't go all in immediately yeah but like, um, okay first match it's kevin smith and dan no, not even that. Yeah, like... or like listen understand that like listen it, it, if you want to bring it back that's great um but yeah. and i'm even fine if they bring it back and, and, and it doesn't work out financially that's fine because i think part of the joy this morning was the community and sure. also yeah. just you know even even uh, Honestly, I wouldn't be even fine, and this is something we never know, and this might be something that's happening right now, if they brought back to Schmodown just for the people who played it. So it's like, we have a Schmodown night. That a every, private Schmodown Not Not gathering. taped at all. Yeah. It's like, yeah. listen, we're all friends. We love the Schmodown, because I also think, like, I don't, I don't again, I don't it's know. It's like, uh, it reminds me of uh, the end of Rocky Three, where yes. you, have, you have Rocky and Creed going behind the scenes. Oh, we're just going to, we're going to have a match. Exactly. Right? Just to have a, you know. Because I think also, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what how it was for the competitors. I don't, I, I don't yeah, we can't yeah. again. We can't speak for Christian or any of the, the yeah. competitors or anybody involved, but we're just kind of you know our own take if, on if, it. But. If they want it, if 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 all parties involved want it, wanted it, like wanted to give it another go or just wanted to like do it again, I don't see any problem with that. And I do think like you know uh, th there will be some people who are still passionate who will be like, yes, the Shmodown's coming back. There will be those people out there like you, and yeah. Me. <laughs> but you know, but even oh, I don't actually, <laughs> I don't even know at this point. I mean, that's it's just. It feels so far behind me at that point. Like, I was talking about this earlier, yeah. you know, like, turning over another leaf or opening up another chapter of the book or whatever. Yeah. But just that, like, man, that, that part of my life seems so far away now. Like, I was talking about that live event in New York was two years ago now. Two years! It just... it hey. it's, Time is weird, man. Yeah, but you I, know? I, I completely get that. <laughs> but, like, I think what's also uh, an interesting thing about this discussion is... is if the Shmodown does come back, it might not be for us, and that's okay. It might be for the new for a people, new audience for a sure. new audience yeah. to fall in love with for the first time. And like, it, yeah. in, in that sense, uh, that's why I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm also probably to to a fault sometimes hopeful when it comes to these things. <laughs> and, but I'm like, you know, I think there's some good. Well, that could go if we know it. Christian, he's going to be watching this video. If we, you know, you know, we'll see. I mean, I I, I think it really is a. It comes down to some a things to think about. You know, it, it comes down to a personal decision on just like where yeah, you are at yeah. with your life uh, when it comes to the competitors, Christian, the announcers, um, managers. But I think there, I'm I'm a huge sports fan. I think there is an inherent good thing that comes from training for something and then what was nice about the showdown it felt like these athletes were training and they put effort in and the strategy and it's just like it evolved yeah. and like that's why you had like a guy like thomas harper who was like absolutely. going into the season like i can't do it i gotta spend time with my family it exactly. takes too much out of me so it is you know? it is a commitment <laughs> but it's like the same type of commitment a pickup basketball league is sometimes or like a right. soccer league and right. like when i look you're at you're not it, throwing your entire career and life into it but you're putting a lot of time you're putting time if you yeah. want to get good and and if you're passionate about it and it brings you joy and like the big moments the good moments uh the moments of winning a championship it or even pays winning off the... it's, it's satisfying for everybody like marisol mckee yeah, winning the title absolutely. how, how
fucking awesome was that? I know. Right? I think I think there are if you and it's also a great creative outlet both for the competitors and I would feel like Christian. Uh, again, I can't speak on their behalf, but that's what it felt like yeah. as a fan. So it's one of those things where like. I, I'll put it this way: I would, if the showdown announcement, we're coming back. I would not be sad or anything. I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm going into it with an open mind. However, yeah. would I be as invested as I was when it was at its heyday, at its peak, like 2018, 2019? No, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay because it's very tough to maintain that peak when yeah. you've been a couple years. But who knows? There's always the chance that they build themselves back up again. You know? They could. Again, I'm not like completely neither you know, am I and you've already kind of swayed my argument yeah. a bit too I'm like well, actually it doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world now that you put it that way but because I again I like we, you know both of us were just yeah. massive fans of that but absolutely it, it was a great part of our it lives so cool it was yeah. just it, it gave us a lot of happiness and it, yeah, it definitely yeah. helped me through tough moments and also it helped me through a stage where I was becoming a different type of person I I, yeah. I, I know um, we were both at different stages of my life, but I was in college when it was coming out. It's a lot of finding yourself in college, and I really think a lot of I can thank and also blame the Schmodown for who I am today. <laughs> yeah, I blame, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, yeah. Listen, it's one of those things where it's like a couple of freaking nerds over here. I, I, the reason why I <laughs> it's say it's not a bad it, thing. It's just, yeah, yeah, the reason why I say <laughs> when I take the shoulda argument is because I think it, the only way it comes back is if Christian. They get a TV deal. No, no, not even that. <laughs> but um, I think the only way they get back is um, if Christian is, knows, is, is not only committed, but knows that, like, hey. This, this uh, could work. Th th this could work, but, yeah. al but also that, like, you know, this is something I want to do. Right. And this is something the competitors right. want it, to it do. It has to be. Because you. I think kind of towards the end there, Christian sort of, and again, I can't speak for him, but maybe lost a little bit of the, the passion and the drive and the sort of it's struggling something. with it, you know? It's, it's something where... But, but we've seen him at his best, yeah. really, like, I think with and the I, show. I, I, like, I think he was I love his stand-up, and I, I love the big thing and what he's doing yeah. now and everything, but, like, really, I, I still personally believe that the best product that you call it that that christian has ever put out is the schmodown that's like peak corruption yeah. like the, the oh corruption storyline i think is like you got such a mind for this stuff working in wwe absolutely and wrestling yeah. booking it's, and everything it's one it's, of those things where it's like it, it, thank it, you that guy agrees oh yeah <laughs> absolutely but uh <laughs> it's one of those things where i would say that like listen if it's coming back that means christian's in it also means he i think wants that, to do I, that. I think with his experience also now, now that he's gone through the whole process learn some from his mistakes absolutely you're yeah, not going to like, I, I think it's going to be one of those things where even i think in the in, in the end not like just to see the competitors come back and and just you know build their way towards it or just like you know to see someone like brendan meyer go for a singles title and just even if it's low stakes like let's say it's once every two weeks but you you have to be like hey if brendan wins these next two matches he might get a single shot for the first time or so or, or someone like video that guy that guy like both him and bibs were so good i wanted to see like i, I one of the schmodown things that we never got yeah. was like a gauntlet match oh yeah which is a crazy idea and i don't know if they ever could have pulled it one off one of my favorite but, favorite storylines that i've cooked yeah. up in my head is the idea of like Shannon getting a favor over over someone right. and being like, I need chance to get a singles title, and it's like, and Christian being like, okay, you can have the singles title. However, he has to play three matches back to back, right? Against right. not against like any like top tier, but because and he it's has back to beat both of these guys to get to the title match, and then he has to win that title match as well. Otherwise, he never gets to challenge for the title as long as so and so is champ. Like that. Well, cool the thing stakes with... I would add yeah. is basically he would have to leave corruption. Or you have to leave corruption. Oh man! Listen, you get the title, oh, man. but if you don't, if you don't win three or four matches in one day, in like one sitting, it's not even a break. You don't get a post-match interview. Yeah. It's just like you win, on to the next one. The next one immediately <laughs> yeah. walks in. Well, I, I would, I would pay money to watch that as a live event. Just the Chance Ellison gauntlet. Exactly. You know, like... <laughs> so like just to, to be, oh, it's like half free for all, half real match, if yeah. you will. Yeah. But it's one of those things where... Um, and I also kind of could, could go a different way with that, I always thought, where you have the champs have to defend, like, two or three times. Oh, yeah. In a row. Like, Shazam totally could have done it. They could have, like, won three matches in a row back to back to back, and they have to it, defend against, like, Corruption and it Danger been, Zone or whoever. It like, would have been interesting, though, because if that were to ever happen, I think there were some people would put an asterisk on if they lost because it'd be like, well, they were tired. Yeah, which, yeah, which they were also... Tired. I think it makes good for publicity, but might not be the best for the competitors. But as we're talking, yeah. you're, there's different storylines that are coming but it up. But it also just added to their legacy. If oh, they, absolutely. If they had won, all Listen, of them, like, oh, okay, now they 
Now no one can argue they're the greatest Absolutely. team of all time. I think it would have been great for Shazam. <laughs> People playing against Shazam for the title. That, that, yeah, that's that's a lose-lose. That could have ruined some careers right there. Listen, yeah. that's a lose-lose. <laughs> because if you win the title, there's an asterisk on your title. But if, right. you, lose, but if you lose the title, then you, you had, you've lost your shot at winning the title. Yeah. So like I completely get that. But as we're talking, there are possibilities. There are storylines. There are stuff you yeah, can do. There was a lot of... like stuff that I wish they could have Listen, I think done, what's so you know? great about the showdown is like if they had the funding, they could have probably gone yeah, on. Yeah, that's just what it, it always comes down to money at the end of the day, but, damn it. Uh, so, but it's one of those <laughs> things where it's like, listen, if they were, I don't know, if, if they got, a, I don't know, an investor, let's say, I won, it, I, one of my favorite fantasies is if I, if I ever win the lottery and I get like a hundred million dollars, uh, I think I would just buy the Schmodown and be like, right? listen, you guys, you guys don't worry about money. Just do what you want. You yeah, know? like, hey, and I'm not, you're not even going to really be involved. It's just, just Christian, just do whatever you do. What I would like to do <laughs> is just sit on the meetings and give like one comment right, yeah. and just be like, that's all I'm doing. Maybe a classic pure... CEO guy that comes in. Like, oh, actually we could do it that way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I did I, 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 like it, there is some like a fantasy of just being like involved and just in some way contributing but obviously yeah. like I leave it to professional it's one of those things where it's yeah. like listen should it come back I don't know I mean it depends on everyone's personal situation Maybe. you know but yeah. like listen if if people want to do it and I'm talking about the people involved with yeah. Christian the competitors if people PJ you know PLD all those guys all those guys they want to come back and they're like hey we love this thing we love yeah. this product and we just want even if we don't get the best funding even if it takes a while and we have to build ourselves back up if it looks a little one. bit like season two again I'm fine with know? season two honestly. yeah that was like one of my favorite seasons listen if it if you build your if you just slowly kind of build your way up and just stuff like that I think that's perfectly fine if yeah. they're willing to do that however it, it, I, I think I to your point you probably need, you, you probably have to get lucky with the YouTube you algorithm get some kind of roll well, that and you definitely have to have some kind of deal like you know whether that be with the streaming service or TV I or... wouldn't even say that I think you would probably need just I think the only thing you need is just a place whether it's a st studio yeah, yeah that's... Christian's room <laughs> like, but even then, it's like if they if they could find like just a nice professional looking studio. Sure. Yeah. I don't think they even need TV. I think YouTube is. Uh, I think what people are learning is YouTube is more than good enough as a resource at, to to make your living. And I think TV is great in some ways, but there's a lot of like interesting things where a lot of people are not getting cable. I know I'm not going to get cable. Right. I'm the only thing I care well, about. What is do those Nielsen boxes even mean anymore? You know? Exactly. Like, I people. Mean, it's funny because I've uh, read with professional wrestling, people like stress out and get so angry yeah. and like so into the, the TV ratings. Yes. Like, this show did a better demo than the other show, and ha ha ha, WWE is better. Like, right? But it's like, really? Like, and if you think about in 2023, late, is absolutely. it really that important? If you think know? about late night TV, is they, it more I feel about like, streaming? I like, could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, I know. But, same, but, but, but if you think about late night TV, it feels like the YouTube clips that they clip out are more important than the actual TV show. The, those Jimmy Fallon clips, man, they love to hit that algorithm. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, I think the, the Shmodown could absolutely survive in, um, in YouTube. They don't need a TV deal. They don't need a big company. They just need to but hit that algorithm. They, they just need to, like, work their way back up. They need to, like, yeah. start from the bottom. And just. I think it would take, like, a good solid year and a half, two years. At but, like, least. Yeah. At least. At least. Probably more. But, like, if they are able even to get back even some of their dedicated fan base that love the community, that love, that, that love the Shmodown, that, 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 the good ones, the ones that respected the competitors and the... Right. But, like, if they... It, they weren't all good. I'm telling you, there's there's a few bad eggs in that Shmodown community. I don't want to say any names. Well, there, there isn't any community. There's always, there's always going to be drama. That's the, the thing, man. Like, I haven't talked about the Shmodown in, like, months. I've, like, barely even thought about it. But, yeah. like, I was thinking, oh, you know... Love to meet up with Josh and just yeah. maybe just sort of spitball about Absolutely. Snowdown. And it's one of those things um, where every community has its goodness and bads. It's it's all, they all have their ups and downs. And but, I, but I really think, like, as being a part of a couple communities, I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm part of a couple Yu-Gi-Oh! communities, which, by the way, they're not very good. <laughs> they're not very good. In fact, I would say most of them are very, very, very bad. Very, very bad. But, yeah. like, I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and, like, um, there's other communities I'm a part of. I'm trying to get more into D&D &D and stuff like that. And it's like, um... The, there's always going to be drama. There's always going to be good and bad. Yeah. But from my experience, honestly, the Shmona has been one of the better communities by far. Like, Yeah, I, I would say so. Like, my, uh, definitely my least favorite aspect of, of it all was the drama. And, uh, and honestly, especially I, towards the, those last couple years. And I think COVID probably played a part of that. Like, partially. people were getting a little squirrely. 
But uh, I'll be honest. I, but I'm overall, lucky. I avoided most of the drama just by yeah. not being on Twitter. No, right. Which, which, by the way, <laughs> Wait, good decision. Don't call it that anymore. It's X. It's X yeah. now. Damn it. But so I, I think you know, I wouldn't. I'll, well, I'll bring it back to the question. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be for it if it's something where Christian's trying to force it, if the competitors aren't all in, if they're like, no, we need, if it, if it was about the ratings, if it was about yeah. the money, but it, which I, if it was. Which like, it never really felt like it was. No, it was, it was about the sport it felt like, which was yeah. what, what made it so beautiful. If, but if it's like, hey, we need, we want to make this into a business, that's when I would be like. Uh, be careful. Be Tread careful. lightly. Yeah. I think it's possible, but it, 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 the number one thing it has to be if you're creating it is because you want to create it, you want to have that creative outlet, and you want you, you want to bring back the sport, or you just want to hang out with your buddies and just have some movie yeah. trivia, you know? Just go to the bar and hang Honest, out. And, like, answer honestly, some movie if I were questions. Christian, I would just, like, I wouldn't even... I, if I were Christian, what I would do is I wouldn't even promote it, or, like, I wouldn't put it on YouTube, but I would just go over all our friends and just have all the, all the former Schmodown competitors and be like, hey... We're just going to have a weekly want to do a thing. Yeah. We want to do a pickup <laughs> schmodown thing where it's just like you know we go to a bar, we do some schmodown, yeah. we hang out, and throw then... it on the Big Thing channel and see how it does. You know, or and even for the patrons. As I said, I would be fine <laughs> with the schmodown coming back, even if it never comes back on on the internet. If it just yeah. comes back uh, on their own little community, and I never see another schmodown match, but if they're having a good time with it, I think yeah. what was the greatest things about the schmodown is it's a brilliant game. It's why it's I. It's really smart. It's yeah. It's really the the. the <laughs> Rules format is brilliant. It's, one it's of those so things, cool. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, um, I, like I've all one of my not, not dreams. One of the things I would always when I was watching the show now that I, I'd be like, kind of like, man, it would be cool if I if, if there was an anime showdown where it's just the same yeah. rule sets but with anime. I and I wrestling yeah, trivia, wrestling sports trivia. trivia. So it's like there's a yeah. part of me that's like, if you wanted to bring the showdown back. And do it in a new way with a new audience. Maybe not even call it the schmodown. Call it something maybe, different. Maybe call it something but different. But use the same structure. Use the same structure yeah. and then keep, do, maybe keep it in a new audience where it's about sports. Uh, the sports trivia or history trivia or whatever trivia you have friends that you're passionate about. Or like, I know Mark Ellis would clean in a sports trivia, especially for that yeah. baseball, old baseball. He'd probably do pretty good in like comedy if it was just like strictly stand up comedy. I wonder how you do that. Trivia like, on stand up comedians. The question, like, <laughs> the question writers we have. Which a, venue did Bill Burr play where he got uh, uh, harassed by the, the audience? And, I think uh, what you have to do is you have to do it about <laughs> specific jokes. You would, right. You'd read a joke and be like, who. Who said this? And you read a joke, or like, who... in, in in which uh, uh, Rodney Dangerfield joke did he say this line about this thing? Yeah. Or even you, could, you could, <laughs> for a comedian showdown, you could also just have it. Which in this movie, this comedian appeared and had a role or something. You yeah, could, you could yeah. do that. But There's you could, ways to do it. Yeah, there, there, that's what made showdown so amazing and why I loved it. Also, yeah. because. It never was about movie trivia for me because I didn't like movies. Or and I don't want to say I didn't like movies, but I was never a huge movie. You're guy. not a movie buff. No, I. You're uh, not a cinephile. I watched the MCU and like the big blockbusters, and that's it. Yeah. And and even then, sometimes I miss a couple, but not the MCU. But I, um, it's one of those things where um, I was always more of an anime guy, and I never was a trivia guy. But I love sports, and I really feel like the formatting and the aspect. And it really did feel like people enjoyed playing the game. It did feel like a real sport at times. Yeah, absolutely. Like, especially that one season where they had, like, the points and the leagues no, and everything. And, like... <laughs> I, 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 st I love that season. I really yeah, do. Yeah, I do, too. I, I, it's I, underrated I, in the, the long I always thought the digital... Scope, you know? I, I always thought um, the faction era was blamed for a lot of the digital er er era's problems. A lot of things that people had problems with factions weren't a problem with factions. No, it was, it, it was StreamYard not working. Or it was, <laughs> or even like I think a lot of the things could have been fixed faction wise, and you could have a faction system. And this is probably one of my hottest takes about the showdown. You could have completely fix the faction system and do it, and uh, but if, and I I don't think the faction system. You, I, I vehemently disagree with the idea that the faction system. You can't have storylines. Then you can't, or you're not that oh, you, you can't, have, but you absolutely is, can. Then not only can, especially you, if somebody gets put on a faction they don't want to be. Like remember I know. that Laura Kelly I, got I, put I, on the I think, on swag or whatever it was. I think the main issue with a faction style, and this is both a good and a bad thing, is there's no owners in faction. There's managers, and the issue is there's no uh, incentive. Like man, not every manager's priority is to win. And the problem is right. that you don't like when it comes to a sports team. Bobby Gucci, anybody? Yeah. No. Well, Bobby Gucci, I actually would argue. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He kind of 
but he figured out his own weird way. But yeah. when it comes to a sports league and stuff like that, um, it's tough to have a sports league where there's certain factions that's like, oh, you know, we won. I mean, but it, no, 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 actually, it, you know, we didn't win, but you know what? That's okay. We yeah, all had a good time. Fine. There's no pressure to be have any change if you're always just hanging out with your friends and like. <laughs> right. But I think there's a system you could. I, again, I have a lot of thoughts about the faction system and how it could work and how to bring it back and how it would be perfectly fine. And I, and I think part of it is just like if you're a manager within a showdown and your faction's not winning, I think it's perfectly okay for Christian to come in and just be like, you have to trade this player. Yeah, overrule a decision or something. Maybe yeah. like, listen, I understand you want us to keep this together. Yeah. I need to do what's best for not the league. For the league, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I think it's okay to take away some of the manager autonomy at times. Even yeah. though, and again, that's also probably a very hot take. But like... Might be. But uh, who's I, arguing anymore, right? Yeah, exactly. So, um... <laughs> The whole, right. whole point of this video is like we're we're you know, talking just, about something that doesn't exist anymore. But, but. it's one of those things. It's, I think there's I think there are routes to go if they wanted to. I think there are interesting stories. There's to be a told. way it could be done. Yeah. I, I think, but it. it, it but if everybody's happy right now, yeah. you know, because like again, Christian seems like he's doing doing some good yeah, stuff there. That's why I said on his uh, channel, yeah. and ha and I think he probably gets to spend a little bit more time with his family yes. now, which is good and everything. And and yeah, like I I miss it a little bit. But I'm not, I'm not like obsessing over it like some people were there yeah, the, at the end. It was just like, oh man, that sucks that it's over, but you know, it's fine. We're all going to move on kind of thing. And some people were just like, Bleh, you know, yeah. as, as usual. But Absolutely. And you it's know. one of those things, it's why it's kind of a cop-out answer where I'm like, should the Schmodown come back? I'm not saying it should definitely come back. Definitely no yes what. or definitely no. It's it, if you know, it's a maybe with in, caveats. In the, in the right circumstances. It, yeah. It, in the right you know, scenario, and like, for sure. You know, I, I think it was always a positive, uh, a positive force, and, like, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm you know. very curious to see if it ever does actually come back. I, like, I, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon if it does, but, like, it will be very interesting to watch. It, sure. It's why, I think, because it won't happen anytime soon. There's a part of me that's like, let the movie trivia players, it'd be weird to get them back. Yeah. Maybe but start The sport. less time, or the more time between the end... Yes. Of season nine, I guess is what yes. it was. And if they ever do decide to bring it back, the better. Now, part of me that is gives like people just completely fresh play. Yeah. Maybe yeah. have completely new characters. But also, again, as I said, maybe do a bit of sports trivia instead of movie. Maybe, um, as I said, hey, if you ever do anime, I'm on. Um, but like, um, I I'm think... honestly a little surprised that there hasn't been like a another Schmodown type league. Well, it's because. Another it's... movie trivia thing that's popped up. Uh, I, since like I, 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 so many people were tired there's like six different people that were like yeah. i'm gonna start my own schmodown thing and none of you ever the, the did problem, like come on get the hell out of here the problem is it's just <laughs> you a, can't it's not, you can't the replicate rule, that the problem system. is that yeah. system is, uh, we can go on and on and in fact the first episode of the nostalgia crackdown which by the way on the ldr channel go ahead go ahead and watch that ldr um and watch the nostalgia crackdown we just broke down the rules and how perfectly it was made <laughs> round what each round was just perfectly made for the maximum sportage but also yeah. entertainment there's a reason why that whole thing was trademarked yes. basically <laughs> it's a beautiful you know? system it's and, a beautiful, beautiful and honestly system. like everybody that was part of like most i'd say the majority of the people that were part of the showdown have enough respect for that system and for christian to to never like try to replicate it in a, in a different way you know like yeah. in a different league yeah, it would, it would it have just, to be a completely different it would system. Have to be totally different. Yeah, like it would have to be a thing. I remember um, at the end of the showdown, there was someone telling me a system they were thinking of doing or something like that. Where yeah. and it's just it, it's just it's tough to replicate magic like that. But yeah. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's a somebody way to might do have it. some up their sleeve. We'll see. Absolutely, but I think uh, I think that yeah. does it. I think so. Yeah. At the end of the day, like as I said, uh, I I think like people should just. Uh, be nice to each other. Absolutely. How about that? That's a good way to end, right? Absolutely. And, and before I <laughs> no get no drama. Out, absolutely. And before before I get out of here, just gotta say, go support LGR. LGR is filled with great people. Go join the Patreon. Go watch the Nostalgia Crackdown. True, um, truly has a great community. Speaking I miss of great, you guys. Speaking of great, not community, all of you, but most of you. You're joking. Uh, uh, but maybe. Maybe a little. But <laughs> listen, um, I listen. It's. LGR is truly a great community. It's got a bunch of people hanging out. I wish I could hang out more I, um, within the server, but we got the Nostalgia Crackdown. We got so much Patreon perks. We got so many shows. We got 
doing sports, um, entertainment, all that great stuff. Just go check it out. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Just go, sure. go support LGR. And subscribe to this channel as well. Yes. The Dagan Mall. We're building stuff up. This is something new. I've been doing mostly music stuff uh, recently in the months since I left uh, LGRN. But uh, I definitely, I'm, I'm going to throw this on there and see how it does and throw it on the social medias and tag some people and see who clicks on it. And, uh, all right. Get it out there. But thanks, Josh. Happy to As be always, here. As always, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's good to do a show with you in person Absolutely. for the first time. This was very, very cool. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Absolutely. Cheers, everybody. See ya.